Hi, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com. Today's video is a little bit different because it's not a very complicated tutorial, but I wanted to talk about hairstyles for working out. It's something I get asked a lot and when I search for them on YouTube, I end up coming up with tutorials that take longer to do than it does for me to work out. And I'm also known to maybe cancel a workout or move it because of my hair. And that really isn't a good thing for us to be doing, so it's possible to work out when you've just had a blow dry or your hair looks really good and still keep it looking good after. Plus, I'm gonna show you two quick ways that I style my hair uh, with a few variations uh, so that you can work out and you'll only take two seconds to do your hair. Now, the first style I wanna show you is kind of what I'm wearing now and it's a high bun. But there's a trick to doing this and it's all about the hair elastic you choose. Now, instead of reaching for these sort of regular hair elastics, these are the kind of bands you need to use for working out. Uh, these are called Invisibobbles um, and they're also available from other brands as well now. Uh, and they, these little twisty designs actually work so that you don't get a really strong band mark in your hair. I've been writing about these for a long time and I've been a big fan for a long time. Uh, and this is the trick. And people often wonder if they're going to be strong enough to work out. And for that, I'm just gonna show you a couple of different bun styles that will work. So to do a little high bun, I've got one of my Invisibobbles here. And this is kind of a good loose style that I would do for like um, a yoga or Pilates class, just looping the bun around. And then I pop the Invisible around, twist it, and then loop it over again. Now that is nice and comfortable. Personally, I really like doing a hairstyle that's right on top of my head. If it's a class where I might be lying down or moving around, because then there's no worries about the sides of my head. And then once the class is done, it's super easy just to take it out and your hair will be left without any major marks in it. Now, if you're more of a runner or you're doing a, uh, some sort of F45, you're crazy, um, you probably want something that's a little bit tighter than that. And I have a couple of ideas. You can either do two buns um, or I think a low bun works really well for that kind of style. And all, instead of just doing that loose style, what you want to do is twist a lot more. And you could even do, uh, use two Invisibobbles. So secure a really tight ponytail first as number one, and then twist, create a bun, and secure this with Invisibobble number two. And that is gonna give you a much more secure style that will work for running uh, and any kind of jumping exercise, something like that. Now, if you have naturally curly hair, which you can't tell today, but I actually do, you want to go and look for something that's a bit more like this. Uh, the Invisibobbles can work, but you're not going to be left with as nice a curl at the end. Whereas using a sports clip, um, a claw clip that has a silicon inner is going to work really well to hold your curls and not squash them too much. Now, the way I use these clips is similar to doing a bun, but I almost just pretend my hair's curly. I'll, I'll link to another video that shows you more of what I mean in curly hair. And lightly and loosely twist your hair up, almost creating like a bit of a pineapple style and clipping it here. And now if you've got fine curly hair or shorter hair, getting a few of these smaller clips and clipping in a few smaller sections is going to work really, really well for you. The reason I like these clips so much is that they don't squash my curls too much, but they really hold. And I could wear this sort of style for doing um, a yoga class or also I've worn them for running, but I use two clips. I would actually then place a clip closer at the back and then one on top. And then when it's done, you just need to take your hair out and you won't have any of the marks in your hair and you can just refresh your curls and get back to your day. Now, for tips on how to refresh your curls after a workout, I'm gonna link another video that I've done um, which shows you ways with no heat and with heat to quickly fix your curls. But for pretty much everybody after a workout, you're gonna have nice sweaty roots um, if you've done a good workout, I guess. Um, and that's when I go for dry shampoo. I pretty much live for this stuff. I use it all the time in clean hair, but it's great for after the gym. Now my trick for after the gym is to spray dry shampoo straight onto the roots of my hair and then take a hair dryer on the cool shot setting. And that's where it's just blowing out cold air and really give my roots a blast. This will um, build in volume, dry out my hair and help to cool me down fast. And then once you've done that, your hair is pretty much ready to go. You can brush it through, use the hairdryer to smooth out the ends, and pretty much you're ready to go. Now this is a pretty quick video because I didn't want to make it long and complicated for working out. 
I have enough trouble getting to the gym and exercising, so I don't need my hair to stand in the way. By using a clip or an Invisibobble, I swear you'll have a much easier way of managing your hair while you work out, and there'll be no more excuses to skip the gym. Why do I do this video? I hope they help. Um, and if you've got any tips and questions, pop them in the comments below. And if you're one of those girls who works out in full neat braids, bow down, respect. Keep doing what you do. But if you're like me and it's a struggle, just get your hair out quickly so you can get it down fast and get back to your real life. Thanks so much for watching. Come over to hairromance.com for more hair tips uh, and hit subscribe and like if you like this video and you wanna see more hairstyles. Take care, I'll see you soon, bye.